friends. The James Francis started on my guitar in 1765. And the Pope St. John the 23rd at 1737 for the degree of the Knights of the Romans, are once again called upon to bid a last farewell and to celebrate the envy and the eternal life of one of its members. With deep respect, we pay tribute to the memory of Sir Knight Donald Paul Gershister, whom God in his infinite wisdom and mercy has seen fit to call to his eternal reward. The occasion that brings us here today is one of sadness, but it is also one of celebration. It is sad indeed to realize that the ties of friendship and fraternal affection which bound our brothers for a family have been dissolved here on earth. It is one of celebration because now he walks eternally with God. Yet in our sadness, we celebrate the fact that our brother, whom we know and still love, is rejoicing with gladness in God's steadfast and ever enduring love. He has finished his labors here on earth, a faithful servant has been called to the joy of eternal life. As we realize the uncertainty of life and the death we owe to our departed brother, an occasion such as this reminds us to dwell in serious thought on that time when we too, traveling as fellow pilgrims in baptism, shall join all of God's children the joyful fulfillment of God's grace. What a note of gladness, power and confidence springs out of the world of St. Paul. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all fall asleep, but we will all be changed in an instant in the blink of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Today our hearts go into deep sympathy to those who remain here to mourn. The loss is great, but we mercifully ask our loving God in His goodness and kindness to console this gathered church. For those who knew Sir Knight Donald Paul Kershyski, may I borrow a word from St. Ambrose. We love him in life. Let us not forget him in death. With our hearts and minds filled with tenderness and sorrow, let us cherish our memories as we listen to these words. But the souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem in view of the foolish to be dead, but they are in peace. Today, we remember a brother whose life has given our own lives meaning. We remember him who has reached our lives with love and friendship. Kindness and compassion, thoughtfulness and understanding, departed indeed from this life, he now shares in the saints the joy of the church triumphant. And now we renew our bonds with him. Were we, Sir Knight, Donald Paul, in the presence of your loved ones and friends on this solemn occasion? We honor you as a beloved Christian witness. In loving testimony, we present this chalice on which your name will be engraved. It will be entrusted to the community of the Universal Church 
there to be used in the Eucharistic celebration. It will serve the United Church on earth with the Church in heaven in that sacred banquet in which we pray. You already share and for which we will remain still whole. You present the challenge to the family. We're going to conclude our service of the invitation of dress and elephant gentlemen. As we heard. 